Barakat Yahu, you know, Shalom, Barakat Yahu, Barakat Yahu Sha, Barakat Yahu, Barakat Yahu Sha, Barakat Yahu, Bahashim Yahu Sha, Barakat Yahu, Bahashim Yahu Sha. Okay, I just want to give a quick testimony. Well, it's not this video going to be a long video, but I just want to start with this testimony about what I've seen tonight. Okay. Actually, tonight, uh, approximately, probably around 9 or 8 o'clock, I was sitting on my, um, my wife's car. I was sitting on her car, and I was just listening to music. I was listening to The Temptations, actually. Oh, uh, The Temptations. And I was just switching different genres of music. Just, just being to myself, you know, just thinking, thinking about um, this word and stuff, this, this suffering and stuff like that. And then, like, I was, I was just feeling kind of low in the spirit, you know, and, you know, an amazing thing like happened, man. Like, I looked up and I just seen like a chariot just skimming through the sky, man. You know, that made me smile, man. That that lifted me up, man. That, and it came like at the right time, man. I didn't see it coming up or nothing, man. It's just like I was just looking in the sky, and I just seen something. Just it was a light. It looked like a star or whatever, and it was just moving across the sky at a very steady pace. And then it moved behind the clouds, and I couldn't see it no more. And you know, I just got happy, man. Like, my spirit was lifted up real high, man. And that's what this lesson is gonna be about. This lesson is gonna be about the chariots, man. This lesson is going to be about the so-called UFOs, which are really identified flying objects. They're really IFOs if you really get, want to get deep into it. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. It's a spirit. Man. I jump right to the, you know, Psalm 144, you know, that's the spirit. Uh... 104, Psalm 104. No, okay. This is gonna be this is my first scripture, Psalm 104, and it's gonna prove to you to you guys what are the chariots. And and it's gonna prove that the clouds the clouds are chariots. Okay, this is Psalm 104, and I'm gonna start at one. Blessed, bless Yahweh, O my soul, O Yahweh, my power. Thou art very great, that thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Verse 2, who coverest, coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. And when Yahweh shall come back, he gonna, he gonna crack that curtain, basically. <laughs> this is verse 3, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds... His chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So, he says in Psalm 104 and 3, who maketh the clouds his chariot. That should prove, that's, that, that tells you right there what the chariots are. You know, they are, they were, that's what, that should tell you what the clouds are. The so-called clouds that are uh, spoken about. Behold, he coming with the clouds. And I'm finna get some examples with, of, of of those scriptures that have a uh, cloud in it. To, you know, bring out the edification. Man. Tell y'all, uh, this is, hey, the, uh, the chariots, the so-called clouds or the Bible are the chariots, man. Uh, Jeremiah 4 and 13 That scripture I just had in there, Isaiah It really didn't have clouds in it So I ain't really want to get that one uh, This is Jeremiah 4 and 13 
Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. So, his horses and his clouds, his chariots, those are his horses, man. They, they, they resemble, horses resemble power, man. Horsepower, y'all ever heard that term, horsepower? Horses are basically power. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Now, what are those clouds? Okay, let's go back to Psalm 104. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Well, actually, I'm going to start. I'm going to read the whole verse 3. Who led the beings of his chambers in the waters, and who maketh the clouds his chariot. So, this is Daniel 7, 13. I saw in my in, in night in the night visions, and behold, one like one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. That's another example of what the, the clouds are, or what the chariots well, yeah, what the clouds are. It's telling you what the clouds are. This book tells you what the clouds are. You know? You gotta read the fine print within the fine print. <laughs> Uh, this is I, uh, Zephaniah 1 and 15. Well, actually, I'm going to start at 14. The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Hasten it greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day, that day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. So once again, those clouds are the so-called UFOs. Because when help shall come now, uh, hey, ain't gonna be no, ain't gonna be no bullshit. He coming to kill, man. This is Jer this is Saint Matthew chapter twenty four, verse thirty. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and they are, and they shall all the tribe, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son, Son of Man. Coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Hmm. So what are those clouds? One, Psalm 104 and 3. Who led the beams of his chariots. I mean, Salakia. Who led the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. So he going to be coming out in so-called UFOs, man. And, you know, it was a beautiful thing, man. It, it made me smile when I seen that chariot. And Yahweh Shai is coming back in a chariot. Uh, Acts 1. I love getting this. This is Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Verse number nine, and when he had spoken spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So that cloud was not an actual cloud; it was a UFO, man. So Yahweh Shai didn't just levitate out of here, man. He didn't levitate out of here. A cloud received him, and it it brought him up. He eventually went up in the chariot, went up into the chariot. By the um world, by a whirlwind. You know, I don't know how it does it, but it brings you up into it. Like when you, I'm pretty sure it has a, a entry point or whatever, the door or whatever, uh, and it beams you up, beam me up, Scotty. You know.
This is verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which said, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come, so shall so come in like manner. So he's gonna come just like that. He's gonna come in a chariot. As ye have seen him go into heaven. And he said you're going to see him in cloud. With great power and great glory man. This is St. Matthew 26 and 64. And Yahweh said unto them. Unto him. Thou hast said. Nevertheless I say unto you. Hereafter. Shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and and coming in the cloud of heaven? So he was talking to somebody and he told them you was gonna see me two times. He you're gonna see me two times. You're gonna see me sitting on the right hand of the of the most high. That means you was gonna die and you was gonna go get it to come before his judgment seat. You know, you was going to see him in the spirit world. And then you was going to see him when he came in his glory of his father, man. So let me read it again. This is St. Matthew 24 and 68, 4. Well, actually, six, I mean, 26 and 64. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thou hast said, nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. So you are gonna see me in the spirit world, and you are gonna see me in the cloud coming in the, in the with the with the chariots. So he told him that man, you was gonna see me two times, and that's proof of reincarnation. How is he gonna see him again, coming in the glory, man? How he's gonna see that? Spirit, I mean, I mean not spiritual, but, um, uh, reincarnation, regeneration. This is First Thessalonians. 4 and 17 then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yahweh the Lord Yahweh in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord so what they're going to be caught up in those uh chariots if I go back to Psalms he makes his, his uh his uh cloud wait it's like it. let me get it uh, this is Psalm 104 and 3 who layeth the beams of his cha chambers in the waters who maketh the clouds his chariot so he maketh his clouds to his chariot you know uh, so they're going to be beamed up in the chariots they're going to be in the chariot the dead shall rise first you know Revelations 1. And you know, as me, I don't really do too much talking. I just let these scriptures talk, man. You know, because, you know, I'm just trying to get this point across. You know? This is Revelations 1 and 7. In both most of these scriptures, they speak for themselves, man. Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Behold, he cometh with clouds. It didn't say one cloud. It didn't say cloud. Behold, he cometh with cloud. No, he cometh with clouds. And this one says, who maketh the clouds his chariot. He is coming with clouds. You hear that on there? It's, it it means it's more than one. So this is Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. How are they going to see him? They're going to see him because his chariot is going to be so big, man. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amon, Amon. Not amen, it's Aman. 
So y'all gonna everybody gonna see your house shot. I'm gonna see your house shot. You know, everybody gonna see him. It says every eye gonna see him, so I got an eye, so I'm gonna see him too. I don't know how exactly how everything is gonna play out, but hey, I know something. This is Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. Yahweh is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has plenty of chariots. And when Yahweh Shah return, y'all going to see all the chariots that, uh, well, I don't know if it's going to be all of them, but hey, I know it's going to be some, uh, I know it's going to be a lot. I know they're going to cover the face of this earth. You know, I know that for sure. This is John. I mean, wait, actually, let me book, hold that on deck. I just thought of a scripture. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got it on deck. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Well, I'm going to start at 1. Hear ye the word which I speak, which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the people, the customs of the people are vain. For one cut at the tree. Well, actually, I don't want to get into that. I'm going to start at verse, stop at verse 2. And the reason why I got that scripture, because most people, they see chariots, they see so-called UFOs, and they freak out. You know, the scripture, Yahweh by Shem Shah said, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because the heathen are dismayed at it. They look at those chariots and they, and they talk about UFOs and all that bullshit, man. That's bullshit. But uh, this is Je Je Zechariah chapter 5 verse 1. Then I turned and behold. I mean, then I turned and lifted up mine eyes. And behold. And, and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Verse 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So those chariots are going to cover the face of the whole earth, man. You know, it's going to be thousands and thousands of angels who are going to be with Yahweh Shah when he come. You know, Michael's going to be with him. Um, all the all, all mostly all the angels gonna be with you. How about Shem Yahusha when he come, man? For every one that still it shall be cut off. That's talking about Esau, as on this side according to it, and every one that swerved Esau shall be cut off, as on that side according to it. Verse four: I will bring it forth, said Yahweh of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. Where is the house of the thief? America. Because if you look at a scale on the, the number of UFO sightings, so-called UFO sightings, America is number one, basically. America is number one. Um, and it shall remain in the midst of the, his house. And shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. This is Ezekiel chapter 1. I'm going to start at 3. The word of Yahweh came on. Express expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Bazu, I mean Bazui, Buza, Bo, Buza, Selakia, in the hand of the Chaldeans by the river Chabar, and the hand of Yahweh was upon him. And behold, and and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof was the color of amber. Out of the midst of the fire. The color uh the color amber is like a bronze color. 
It's like I just started a prescription. I'm finna hold it on deck. Please bear with me. I'm trying to find the scripture in Revelations about uh, the chariots. Like you, please uh, uh, give me some time, real quick. Bear with me. Oh, and he shall bring the glory, and the gates of it shall not be shut up day, uh, at all by day. Or there shall be no night there. Actually, let me shoot me real, real quick. Right? Let So I can't, I can't find the scripture that I'm looking for. Oh, uh, but I'm gonna finish this. Out of the, uh, also out of the midst there came the likeness of four living creatures. So this is Ezekiel, and he he saw actually, he actually saw um, he saw a chariot. So this is Ezekiel, and he saw a chariot coming out of the north. And he saw a big old, um, a big old chariot, a big old so-called UFO. Because the, this Bible actually identifies those uh, flying objects, you know? So you cannot uh, say, call them IFOs. Call them what they are, you know. Call them what they are. They are chariots. Uh, through the Spirit, I'm going to find that scripture that I'm looking for. But I'm going to just jump down to... I'm 
gonna jump down to verse number 15 now as I beheld the living creatures behold one will upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces the appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl and therefore had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the midst of a wheel. So if you put a wheel in the midst of a wheel, what does that look like? Hmm. Um, when they went, they went upon their four sides and every one turned not when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the and when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. So basically, wherever the, these living creatures went, which are angels, because they have the likeness of a man, so they they are angels. So wherever the angels went, the uh, the chariots went. Um, which so wherever the spirit was to go, they went De thither. Was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up of over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels, and these wheels were so called chariots, man. When those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood, and when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up from uh, uh, over against them, for the spirit of the, the living creature was in the wheels, and the likeness of the farnament upon the heads of the living creatures was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above and under the fundament which were were the wings straight the one toward another every one had two which covered it on this side um but i'm gonna jump down to verse 28 as the appearance of the bow that is in a cloud in the day of rain so you ever seen the rainbow these uh these so called cherries they be having they be different colors they be different colors of the rainbow um so was the appearance of the brightness round about this was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahweh and when I saw it I fell upon my face and I heard the voice of one spake so that right there gives you an example of the chariots of Yahweh Shemal Shah those those are the vehicles that the elect gonna get beamed up into man. They're gonna get saved by those chariots. You know that's their salvation. When they see, when you see that that chariot, you it just should remind you of salvation, man. You know. I think if I type in fire, I'll find it, cause I know fire was next. So like you, uh, I, I want to get this scripture so bad. I don't like to leave no stone unturned. If you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to bring up something and not be able to find it. Um, Salakia. So uh, the devil deceived him and cast to the lake of fire in Bristol. The, de the death in hell was cast to the lake of fire. Whosoever was not around written in the book was cast into the lake of fire. <laughs> Cannot find it. But uh, the scripture was about, it was basically telling you that Yahweh Shemel Shah was going to have chariots in the kingdom. I'm 
about to see if my I can I can can point me to it. I want to say chairs around the kingdom. Uh, the Lord will not take away the child, take away the the fire by the cloud by day and fire pillow of fire by night. I something like that. Cloud by day. Let me try that. Uh, it should be it. Nope, nope, nope. Cloud. But um, with that, I want to give all praises. I hope y'all was edified with this lesson. I really wish I would could find this uh this scripture but right now uh, I just can't seem to find the one I'm looking for Just like when we came out. So with that, man, I mean, I can't find the scripture that I'm looking for. But, you know, through the spirit and power, y'all, by some y'all shot, I'll find another lesson. And yeah, I'm going to add that to my next lesson. Because, you know, I hope y'all was edified because, you know, in the kingdom, we're going to have protection. You know, the angels are going to be in those chariots. Like right now, you know, I'm trying to prove it, but I cannot exactly find the scripture that I'm looking for. But um, y'all get the message, man. I pray that y'all get the message and I was edified off this lesson. And now y'all know that these clouds are so-called chariots, man. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. How about Shemiah Shabrak, a thumb to the elect and death to you two thirds out there. Shalom.